Greetings Games Workshop fans and um, welcome to another video. This time we're going to have a look at the new Necron models, just like I did back when the pictures were leaked. This is the second wave um, of miniatures and um, yeah, well, let's just start right away. Let's start with the best one in my eyes. It's the Triarch uh, Jagdläufer des Triarchards. What is it actually called in English? Jeez, got no idea. Curse Games Workshop for screwing up the names constantly. Or oh, not using the same name in every language. Well, I'll put it down below here, so I'm gonna see it. it. Looks like a mechanical spider. I think that's looking really nice. Got some there's different weapons in the kit. You've got the double Barreled weapon down here. Yeah, the tri arc pilot is. That looks like the head of the spider, basically. One eye, and here's the two mandibles. Yeah, not bad. Two large pair of legs. One large pair of legs. Two smaller ones here. Of course, mechanical spine. No necron unit is complete without it. Well, the monolith, probably. Not quite sure what that piece at the back here is. Looks like some sort of grappling hook. Which would make sense. Well, there's that spider silk coming out. Well, so I think that's a really nice unit. Like the pilot, how he's controlling it. One finger is pu pushing a few buttons. The other one is grabbing onto that sphere. Nice. Really. What else do we have? The uh, Exo Venators. Well, I think they're called Tomb Blades in English. These are basically the Necron um, jet bikes. And I have to say, I already expected that from the picture in the codex. Honestly, I think they look ridiculous. Seriously, it's the way these Necrons are hunched in here, how they are almost dangling down with that thing in front of the head. I don't know. If you usually if you have a massive ball right in front of your face, you usually call that teabagging, if you know what I mean. But um apparently that's not the case here. Anyway, I'm drifting off. You see different kinds of weapons. They look like the weapons from the um, immortals, these two. Here's something else. This vehicle here looks totally different. It has like like a massive... Oh, wait a minute. No, I thought that was like a massive um, afterburner here. But that's actually on the side and it looks like um, like those Tesla carbines from the um, Immortals as well. I don't know. I just, I just don't like the look of these. Seriously. Not for me. Not for me. I think I can pass on these. What else? Something good again, the new wraiths, the Canoptech wraiths, how they are called now. Now they are plastic, they are much bigger, and they just don't look like a usual Necron with a spined tail. You know, the old wraiths, they had Necron heads, and I didn't really like them. These look pretty cool, but there's these spider heads uh, in sync with the new Tomb Spider. Sp Spider-like bodies with long spined tails. Really, I think that's a great design. That should be the weapon option which uh, reduces the enemy's initiative in close combat to one, I believe. I'm not sure. Really, I think they're, they're really nice. Different heads, different bodies, so you can make them unique. Really cool. I like these. Speaking of, here's the big brother. Here's the Canoptic Spider. The Tomb Spider. It has a massive back body. You can, I don't know, okay, take that off or if it's not glued on, there's a bunch of small spiders in here which rep represent the um, the scarabs that can be produced by this unit. Yes, a big head, some, some energy generator back here. I don't know what. Let's have a look. Uh, where was that? 
here. Here it is opened up. Here you can see the small scarabs in the in on the inside. Here's that energy thing. Here's the head. And closed up, it looks like this. I really like this. I like. I think it looks better than the old uh, tomb spiders. And that's plastic, so nice. Uh, onto the special characters on Nemesis or Zandrak. That's a really great looking model, except for the ridiculous headgear, which again I will cut off of all my lords. I don't don't like this at all. It's got a nice coat, cloak, pointing. The fluff for this guy is really nice. He's basically his brain is damaged. He still thinks that he's alive. Back in back in time fighting in the re recession wars against other Necron Lords. He doesn't get what's happening, but that's pretty cool. So that miniature I think is really nice. Got a nice war scythe there. If that is considered war, war scythe. I now have problems um, telling if one of these staff weapons is a war scythe or a staff flight, it's a bit... it was easier to tell in the old days. Let's check. Aha, Stab des Lichts, so it's got... he's got a staff of light or whatever it's called in English. It's not a war scythe. Hmm. But honestly, it's got two blades on the side here. That thing in the middle, which was uh, one of these glowing green rods early, um, in the old style Necrons. I don't think anyone would tell you off for using this guy as your own unique uh, Necron Overlord and using this weapon as a war scythe. Come on, that's that's cool. <laughs> it's bent. If you can look closely. Well, it's a fine cast mini uh, <coughs> I mean, fail cast mini ninja, so it has to be bent. Here's his buddy, Vargard Obi-Wan, or Obi-Wan, as, as he's generally called. Now, that is basically a Lich God, a super Lich God, kind of like Drassar, Master of the Blades, or whatever he's called in English, the um, Dark Eldar bodyguard. Um, <coughs> the pose, yeah, I'm, personally I'm not a fan of static poses. So, a, a combat stance with that war scythe, that actually is a war scythe, um, readied would have looked much better in my eyes. I'm not saying that he's a bad miniature, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it a good miniature either. I'm a bit torn on this one. He's looking all tough and uh, staring down on the opponent, but I don't know. I'm unsure. What else? Here we've got Illuminator Saras, the guy who tries to f figure out the secret of life because he wants to get back alive again. Um, he made some modifications to his body, as you can see, obviously. And he's got a head here. Um, judging by the pointy ears, it's an elder or dark elder that he's got here. He has a, he has a bit of spine from that head. And uh, it's cool, he's holding it with one hand and with another small arm he's... Sorry about that. Um, he's... Um, po he's poking in his mouth and checking for... I don't know what he's looking for. He's a nice staff. He's got some special rules, like all these other guys. And then there's just two upgrade kits. Made in resin, the Destroyer Lord upgrade kit, which should consist of this arm, the other arm with the Staff of Light, that arm, the other war arm, which holds um, a regenerator or regeneration orb, and some other details, so you can rebuild one of your regular destroyers into a Destroyer Lord. Seriously, um, that was a available before as a separate kit made out of metal why they are redoing it as an upgrade kit 
it's kind of I don't know, I guess it's just a, a cheap excuse for Games Workshop to produce another overpriced fine cast set. I'm not keen on this one. And same with this one, it's the Heavy Destroyer upgrade kit, which should consist of the head, the back spine here, and of course the weapon. So, um, yeah. If you have these um, made out of metal, uh, consider yourself lucky. This here will t is so prone of being bent, and of course, breaking. Uh, I'm not sold on fine cast. But anyway, it's a short rundown and a new miniatures. Oops. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. Some eh, me stuff. That's it for me. Tell me your opinion in the comments below. And um, I think that's it for now. See you in another video.